Hi guys, um, it's quite a quick in my mailbox this week. I thought I got quite a few books, but um, looking at it, I didn't get half as many as last week, which um, is quite a good thing because I have way too many books on my shelf to read. Um, so I'll show you the first book. This is from one of the books from last week, and um, it's called Sold. Um, this isn't a sort of book I would usually get, but I ended up getting it because I seen it. Um, on read it swap it or something and I wanted to get my own copy um, it was only about £2.50 um, it's only a little book but yeah it's a true story um, it's about two Muslim sisters and um, their dad basically sells them to um, this family back from where they're from um, um, they live in Birmingham in England but then they get sold and go to their, where they're originally from and um, luckily one of the sisters um, escaped and this is basically her story about how she was sold into slavery by her father so it's going to be quite a hard read but also hopefully quite an interesting one um, it has quite a few bad reviews I think it's just because they say it's badly written or something but I'm hoping that I'll enjoy this in a way where it's a good read this is the second book I got, it's called Reckless and um, it's, about, it's published by Chicken House and they asked me to be part of the tour so I'm really excited about this one um, basically it's about a boy called Jacob and he has a dark secret and um, his brother follows him one day and finds out his secret which I'm not sure what the secret is um, it sounds really good and I'm really excited to be part of this tour and have the author on um, Books for Company my dog actually um, put a hole in this one, but you can't see it very well, but in the back it's only a tiny one, but just there. It really annoys me. My dog has an obsession with biting the post and attacking it, so it's a race to get there before him. But anyway, thank you Chicken House for sending this to me and asking me to be part of the tour. always means a lot when it's part of the tour, but also when it's a physical book um, tour. So. Um, my third book is Forest of Hands and Tea. Um, it's a series that I've seen a lot about, but I haven't actually um, read or read the blurb of before. This was available for Swap, and Swap wanted one of my books, so I did a swap for it. Uh, I think it's basically about kind of like a lot of books out right now, and they have a lot of rules to live by, and the main character, Mary. Mary starts to basically um, find out the truth and realise that she wants more freedom. I'm guessing that's just from quickly scanning the blurb. But anyway, it sounds really good and I got it because I believe in all the bloggers that love this and I trust all you bloggers. So, yes. Okay, the next book I got is The Haunting Violet and it's a really pretty cover. I know some people have said it's a lot like the passion covers, which I agree, but I just love this because it's like pink purple background. And um, basically, I haven't read this blurb before, but it's about Violet and um, she doesn't believe in ghosts, but they basically believe in her, it says in the blurb. And um, a girl that's murdered um, basically starts haunting her and won't leave her alone until Violet uncovers the murder of her and basically um, find the murderer so it does sound really good and I'm actually really excited about this because when I got it I didn't know what it was about or anything so thank you Vinci Me for sending it the next book I got um, is The Girl Who Let Through Fire it's a tiny book about 160 pages I think and um, Alma Books sent it to me and they specialise in translating books from other languages into English so it, I believe this is a Japanese, I think, sorry if it's not, um, a Japanese author. And she has written this lots of books and apparently she's quite famous. And um, this has been translated basically. It's about a girl called, um, oh sorry, it's a male author. And um, it's about a girl who can discover that she can go back and forth in time. So, yeah, it sounds really good. And sorry, it is a male author. Um, yeah, sorry, it's just because it's the foreign name to me, so I didn't understand. But, yeah, 
it's a really pretty cover. So thank you for sending that Alma book and I look forward to reading it. Okay, um, the final book I got is actually not a proper book, it's um, a manuscript and um, I got it for review. Uh, I'll show you it and then I can tell you. Um, it's Passion, it's obviously basically A4 paper banded together so it's going to be quite tricky to read but I really don't mind because I know I really like this series. Um, I'm being totally honest right now and I actually don't really remember much. Hang on, sorry, I've got to let my dog in. Leo? Where are you going? Okay, sorry. Um, yeah, I don't actually remember a lot about how Torment ended. It's actually um, quite bad because I don't really remember much at all. It was quite a long time ago. I think it was November I must have read it. Um, so... I don't really remember much, so I'm going to have to. Um, I'm going to have to go read like I'm going to read probably read the last fifty pages and then I'll read this. But anyway, I know I love the characters and I know that I've been waiting for this book. So yes, thank you so much to the publishers for sending this to me and I cannot wait. I feel so lucky. So yeah, thank you. Um, that's all for now. I nearly have, or might have, 900 followers and 500 Twitter followers. Also, um, I think I've been blogging for about 9, 10 months now, so I think it's more 9 months, but, um, so I'm hoping to have a giveaway for the followers, and then within about 3 months I have a blog anniversary giveaway. But the giveaway which will be coming up, there will be an international winner and a UK winner, and um, the international winner will have a choice of a book that books that I select, and the um, UK winner will have a choice of some more books which I select. But they'll probably be my books, so they'll be second hand. Um, yeah, that's all really. Make sure you check out a few po There's a few cool posts that, um, this week. Lindsay, an author, um, did a post about why people authors are self-publishing now. Another cool post that you should definitely check out. Um, yes, thank you to all my followers and for viewing this video. I hope it wasn't too boring for you. Um, and I'll see you all next week. Hopefully I'll have some more nice books to show you. And yes, thank you. Bye.